Hello and welcome. This is Kara and I am going to start a golden book. It has been forever <laughs> since I've made a golden book journal. And my daughter and I, we had a girl's day and we went to have tea and there was a shop that had all sorts of fun vintage uh, books and retro stuff and um, bears and all sorts of fun things. And I found this bunny book and I thought, oh, this will be perfect to match the kits. So I'm a little bummed because there's some tape residue here <laughs> and it's a little um, messed up up on the cover, but I think it'll be okay. I do have that I found in my stash. I have this one that I got at Goodwill. Um, so I don't know, but I kind of like the pictures and the cover, even with that. I like this one. All right, so we're going to kind of get the cover ready. And one of the things we need, I don't know if you've never made a uh, golden book journal, you're going to need something that will make the spine of the book. And when you're looking for chipboard, you want to look for something that has about the same, that is about the same width as your book. And if it's not, you can always double it up. Um, but I was just kind of looking and this one looks pretty darn close. So it's perfect. All right. So first thing we're going to do, what we need to do is remove the cover and the pages, um, from each other. And uh, there are staples that hold the book together. And if we kind of pry this apart, it should come out. Let's flip and try this side. Yeah, there's a little damage back there too. I think it'll be okay. So I posted the poll in the, my Facebook group and also in the community section. And most people said they wanted to see the whole process. So, yes, and <laughs> I will still edit. Um, that was also <laughs> the bigger choice, the edited versus the non-edited. All right, and then I will do a flip through at the end for those of you who just wanted to see the flip through. All right, so here are the staples that came out pretty easily. And then we also have the two signatures that we can, I kind of think it's nice to keep the pages intact. Um, I mean, if anyone's going to actually read the book when it's <laughs> made into a junk journal, I don't know. And then I'm going to get out my X-Acto knife. And it should be pretty relatively easy. I'm just going to follow along. That's why I have this blue mat is so that I can do the cutting right here. I'll clean that up in a minute. There we go. Not too shabby, pretty easy. And kind of clean this up. I'm also excited to make a golden book journal because you can toss different kinds of things in um, to the journal. All right, so now I'm just going to kind of clean up the edges a little bit. to decide how I'm going to throw this away so I don't poke myself. 
All right, we're gonna need to decide how much of a spine we will need. I think if we do a three inch spine and then add a little bit so that it can bend <laughs> up, right? So if we do, that seems really big though. I'm just using my squares to kind of visualize. I think it's three inches too big. I don't know. I think it's two inches. That seems too. We can go in the middle and do two and a half. <laughs> I think that's what I'll do. I don't know, but my gut says three. All right, let's do three. <laughs> I'm gonna mark this. One, two, three. And line this up and mark down here just to get a straight line. And I guess I will use this since I had it out. Line it up. My daughter snuck in <laughs> what I was saying is it's kind of fun to do a golden book because I will be able to use some of my scrapbook paper that hasn't matched other journals that I've made recently well not really recently but my latest ones you know because I can use some brighter ah that wasn't smart if I've done enough to let's just do this with the scissors um but I can use some brighter paper that I haven't been able to use. It's kind of fun use it, having a project where it uses your, your stash. It's always good. Man, kind of went wonky right there, didn't I? draw the line. It'll just kind of help me. Since the first go, I didn't do it very straight. Oopsie. trimmed up some of this packing tape. It's where you can wet it and then it gets sticky. I bought a whole roll of it oh, a while ago and this will work. Tyvek works so if you have an envelope that has that Tyvek stuff you can use fabric, you can use really all sorts of different things. Muslin, different things would work and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this 
this and then I'm also going to attach it to the front cover. And I'm just looking because I don't really want it to cover too much of the front cover because I'm also going to put fabric over this. And yeah, that's the same width. Um, and this will cover most it's going to cover most of this um, and not as, you know, we don't want it to cover that much of the cover. All right. So what was that about? Half inch, inch, half inch. Yeah, so about an inch and then about a, a quarter of an inch for, of a gap. And then the rest is going to be on the back up here so kind of line that up and yeah about a half I want to see my dots <laughs> about a quarter of an inch gap I'm just gonna mark it so that I can kind of stay straight there's always ways to fix it if you end up Maybe if I put it here and line it up and then here and then again I want my quarter and mark a dot. Okay, so then I'm going to glue Let's just glue this part on first. Let's glue the back. So I'm gonna get my glue. Oh, do we want fabric tech? Well, let's give it a try. I could just wet this since it has sticky on there, but I'm gonna use the fabric tech. dots since I sort of did measure <laughs> something that is rare it's very very rare wait a minute see I measure and then I'm doing it wrong I want the majority on here and then the inch oh my goodness Kara I want this this is the line we want right there yeah we want the majority on this and then this will go like that Nice and stuck. And then we will do the other one. Oh, I eyeball it. <laughs> That's what I usually do. All right. side And then I'm going to trim this part off. Okay. So now we want to attach this to our cover. Just making sure that's the front <laughs> and that's the back. And I want that quarter of an inch, you know, approximately. So that when we fold this up, it doesn't kind of get stuck. Come on, glue. It's 
hard to believe it's almost Easter <laughs> this year. Whew, it is already just flying. My son, he's like, Mom, I only have nine weeks of school left. I'm like, holy cow, <laughs> where'd the year go? I think I can actually move this in a little bit more. My gap is a little too big. It's so crazy. It's just flying by. stuck on there and then we'll do this one and my line that I cut was not super straight This is stuck back here. I think we are good. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a pretty decent sized spine. Okay. Looking good. All right, I will be right back. Okay, I found some fabric in my stash that I thought would work to add to the spine. I love this, it looks like it's patchwork without it really being patchwork, so it's kind of cute. And I like the blues yeah, along with the blues here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is kind of measure to see how long or wide this is. We wanna cover the brown. So this is five and a quarter. So to be safe, I probably want to go to five and a half so that everything is covered. And because I can't cut fabric in a straight line, <laughs> I have myself, I splurged a while back and I got myself a fabric cutter. All right, so first I'm gonna line this up and I'm gonna try and cut off um, some of this jaggedy part so that we can actually have a straight line. So I'm just going to trim this off. There we go. And then I want to measure five all those bits right there. I'm going to measure five and a half. Okay. All right, so we have it lined up for five and a half. And then, let's take a look, looks good. And then we want enough to wrap around the top and the bottom. So I think this piece is good. So we want enough space. It's gonna cover it, yep. And then when we have a glue on, we can have enough this way to wrap this and like this. And you can add, um, if you want to have a heat and bond, I think is what it's called. You could do that to make it a little even more stable or muslin 
Let's make sure this goes down a little bit. If you want, I'm just going to do this. I think it'll be fine. going to glue this on to here. We'll do the same up here. And now, put this on so I can put it back upside down. You can cover the inside with fabric if you want. You can cover it with paper. You can do all sorts of things. I think um, I'm going to look in my stash and I'm going to do it with some sort of paper. So I'll be right back. Okay. I went through my stash and I found this really fun gingham, which is really fun because I also have gingham in the journal kit. This one is a lot brighter, <laughs> but I think it will be fun. And that's what I'm gonna use to cover um, the inside. And I was watching the YouTube prior to starting the journal. And I saw Pink God Bird put her um, golden books together. And she used an edge punch to, tr to fancy up her edge. And I was like, oh, I want to do that. That looks super cute. So, just trying to find which one do we want. If you want circles or super fancy, I think I'm going to go with the circle. All right, so first, let's kind of trim this down. And make sure I have enough. Sorry, my head's probably in the way. So I'm even gonna go a little bit further than the fabric. So let's see. Yeah, cause right at it is the five and a half. So I want to a little bit further out just to make sure. And then this is how tall. Eight. We'll do eight. Nice and straight. This paper has been in my stash, or yeah. Well, maybe I didn't get it in 2016. I probably got this. No. Yeah, <laughs> I probably did. It's been in the stash for a while. So again, it's really nice to use it. All right, and then eight. Oh, I didn't think about, let's see what happens if we punch this, it might show. Do a couple and see what it looks like. Let 
Yeah, you'll be able to see just a little bit, but I think that'll be okay. I think it'll be just fine. So this other edge or side. and three quarters because we want to make sure that we're covering the fabric behind and you can see it's a little bit through the holes but I think it'll be okay so I'm gonna glue on the middle part okay. and kind of make sure and straight and kind of centered there. Now we'll press this down. should be able to open a close so you can see. make some dinner and then we can come back and figure out the papers all right so we're gonna let this dry I'm gonna go make some dinner <laughs> and then we'll figure out the papers that will go in and do that part next all right I'll be right back 